oops hey guys it's keegan welcome back to my channel today's video we are doing a bake with me i asked you guys in one of my videos if you wanted me to do this and everyone was like yes please so i thought the best way to kick off fall to kick off october is to bake something pumpkin flavored so i asked you guys on my instagram i gave you guys a couple of options of what i should bake this one actually did not win this was the second place because if i'm being honest i looked at the instructions for the one that won first place and it seems like it was a lot of work this one was second place by like a, such a small margin so we are making pumpkin spice cookies with cream cheese frosting that sounds delicious I've always wanted to make something with a frosting I don't think I ever have I really enjoy baking but I wouldn't say that I'm good at it so this is gonna be a fun experience for all of us to enjoy also my throat really hurts so I have tea and it's so hot but my throat hurts so I'm like I need this little tea intermission sorry it burns but it burns so good they're making some noise outside my apartment no offense but I'm filming can they wrap it up let me just set my tea down over here. Whenever I do these baking videos, the last time I did one of these was in February for Valentine's Day. I did like a Valentine's Day cookie bake with me. And I like to tell you guys a story as I'm doing these. And last time I did a story and it was my very worst date that I've ever been on in my entire life. And I don't have a story that's that bad, but I have one that's kind of bad. That's not, that's not that great. I really enjoy telling you guys these stories. In that story, the Valentine's Day story, I thought I was going to die. In this story, I wanted to die. No, I'm just kidding, but like also, Valentine's Day story was the worst date I've ever been on. This one is the worst date I've been on recently. I feel like I don't tell you guys a lot of dating stories. I feel like I kind of like save them for moments like this. This is gonna be really fun. First of all, I will link this recipe down below. It's actually like a TikTok that I found on Pinterest, but we need to soften half a cup of butter, which normally I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. I don't ever think far enough ahead to set it out because I am lazy and I also procrastinate. What I like to do is I find this softens them best. It just cut it in little tablespoon increments maybe even less than a tablespoon. I find it helps it soften a lot faster. And I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for maybe like 30 seconds in a microwavable safe bowl. And we're gonna hope that softens it. I mean, it will. We just hope it won't melt it. <coughs> Cheers. Oh, it melted half of it. <laughs> so we're already not starting off on a great foot. Going into this horrible first date story, this was such a bad date that I thought I was being pranked. And I'll get into why I thought it was a prank, but I thought someone was like messing with me and like actually trying to make me have a horrible time. Like I thought it was an intentional, like he was this bad on purpose. Plot twist, it wasn't a prank. He was just horrible. I'm gonna be telling you the story as I bake. So my mind is gonna be all over the place, just letting you guys know. Oh, I also need to preheat the oven. 350. Okay, we are going to do half a cup of brown brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar as I tell you the story. I do feel like I need to give you guys a little bit of background on me and my dating life for you to kind of get the vibe of this date. So I go through these phases with dating where I go on a ton of dates like multiple times a week trying to meet new people and then I get really burnt out and then I just stop completely dating for like months at a time, don't talk to anyone and then I go back. It's kind of like this vicious cycle of like way too much than nothing, then way too much than nothing. No such thing as moderation for me apparently. Also when it comes to dating, kind of what I'm looking for I'm not necessarily searching for a boyfriend. I'm just kind of wanting to like meet people, see what I like, see what I don't like. But if I meet someone and things progress to that point, naturally, I'm not going to stop it. But it's not my end all be all goal, if that makes any sense. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm not upset about it. So that's kind of me with dating, right? So this story kind of starts at the end of one of those phases where I'm not talking to anyone because I'm burned out. So I hadn't been on dates in a while and I was like, okay, I think I'm I think I'm ready to go back out there. I've kind of been in my grandma era for a while. Like let's let's start dating. So you know, as I do, unpause my hinge because that's always the first thing I go to. I like hinge because I don't actually have to like any men on there. They can just do that. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through the men that like me on hinge and I noticed this one one guy who I actually know in person or I know in my personal day-to-day -day life like I've met him many times because he is one of my ex-boyfriend's really good friends so this is kind of where the story gets like a little interesting and why there is a level of is this a prank in the story so I see this guy and I said that he likes me and I sometimes like when you see that someone that you know likes you you're kind of just like oh ha, like we're just gonna catch up you know like it's not you don't think that you guys are gonna go on a date anyways I'm like catching up with this man over like the hinge DMs as I do and then he asked me on a date and at this point, I'm like, should I go on a date with this guy? Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. He's close friends with my ex-boyfriend. Is this wrong? I'm also gonna mix the sugars and the butter together. And I'm just gonna use 
this rubber spatula. I do have an electric mixer, but I want to use that for the frosting and I don't want to clean it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go by hand for this. Also like the sound is really loud. At this point, I'm kind of like, do I go on this date with him? Is that weird? He's friends with my ex-boyfriend. Am I crossing any boundaries? And then I kind of have like a realization like, I don't have any loyalty to my ex-boyfriend. If anyone had loyalty to my ex-boyfriend, it would be his friend. His friend was the one that reached out to me first. His friend was the one that asked me on the date. So I was like, okay, if his friend doesn't have a problem with it, then really I shouldn't have a problem with it, right? Maybe wrong. Maybe that wasn't my best thought process. Maybe I should have trusted my gut and been like, hmm, maybe not the best idea, but I did it, okay? So this was my first date back to dating in a while. I feel like the worst dates are always the ones where you like put yourself back out there. <laughs> there is some like chunks of brown sugar, so I'm gonna get a fork and kind of like mash the brown sugar chunks. I had recently gotten a new thing of brown sugar and I feel like some of it was like slightly stale. It's not like moist yet. So this guy and I make plans. We decided to go to this restaurant that we'd both been to before that we both really like, you know, excited about it. I'm curious to see how this is gonna go because like I knew this guy decently well, but I only knew him like through my ex-boyfriend. Like I don't think I'd ever hung out with him one-on-one, -on -one, but I had hung out with him with the guy that I was dating at the time. I wouldn't have never met this guy if it wasn't for my ex-boyfriend, basically. And if I remember correctly, I always thought that they were really good friends. The entire time that I'm like, you know, getting ready for the date, thinking about it, I was like, am I gonna bring it up? Is he gonna bring it up? Or are we just gonna like pretend like that we don't know about it? Like, it's kind of like an elephant in the room that going into the date, I'm a little worried about, right? Next up, we are going to add a cup of pumpkin puree. So I have this right here. The other recipe that that I decided not to do, like made me ring out the pumpkin puree like 20 times. This recipe said nothing about ringing out the pumpkin puree, so I have no idea if I should do that, if I should not. I really hope I have a can opener. I do. Thank God. So I was gonna be like, I don't know what I'm about to do here. So we're gonna open up this pumpkin puree. It's not going. I don't know why it's not opening. Am I doing it wrong? Why won't, why won't, why is this not working? It's not opening. Um, if I can't add the pumpkin, this is, the pumpkin's the whole point of this, you know? Oh, got it, ha ha. Beautiful. Slay. Okay. Oh, this isn't even like really juicy. We're fine. We're fine. So this is a cup. So I'm just going to add it into my half cup and then do the whole thing again because I don't feel like dirtying another cup. So I'm getting ready for this date. And I don't know if you guys do this, but in my head, whenever I'm getting ready for a date, I kind of think of like, okay, what are some things that I want to talk about in case it gets awkward? And I was like, okay, I did this today. If he asked me like, what did you do today? What do you do for work? What do you like? I kind of was having some like pre-thought out questions, you know, or pre amp Like if he had questions for me, I had answers to them. So I didn't have to like think of them on the spot, right? Like I, I'm a girly that likes to prepare as I do. For the date, a few hours before, he like messages me and he's like, hey, I actually had like a work thing come up. Do you mind if we push it back like two hours? And I was like, yeah, no big deal. Like it gives me more time to do my work, like not even worried about it, right? Didn't think anything of it. I'm gonna mix this in. He gets to the restaurant before me. He gets to the table, great. I show up. He looks respectfully so bummy. He doesn't look nice. And if I'm being honest, I spent a long time like figuring out what I wanted to wear. I changed my outfit like 10 times. Cause I feel like first dates are stressful. And when you haven't gone on a first date in a while, it's even more stressful. And like the fact that I knew him and the fact that there was kind of this like awkward pressure of like knowing him, but also like not really knowing him. I was just stressed, right? And so I show up and he like, doesn't look that nice. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should not have worn a skirt. <laughs> maybe I should have just worn something more casual. I'm not even to like the good part of this story yet. Like we're not even close to the good part of this story. Instantly when we get there, I'm like, hi, whatever. And he just starts like laughing. Like this man just like starts talking so much within like the first five seconds of me sitting down. Okay, now we add vanilla teaspoon. I think I said this from past, but my teaspoon kind of had a fight with the garbage disposal. So we're using a half teaspoon and we're just gonna use two of them. Immediately he said, he makes a comment about how the reason he pushed our date back was because he wanted to play a video game with some of his friends. Instantly within the first like couple seconds of the date, he basically told me that he lied to me. And like, it's not a big deal, but also like he told me that he had to push back the date because of a work thing, not because he wanted to play video games. So instantly I was like, oh, okay, like whatever, just, you know, go with the flow. I can be a chill girl, I can be a cool girl, like whatever, won't say anything about that. But instantly I was like, okay, so he lied to me. He like told on himself, like he didn't even have to like be caught in the lie. I'm now gonna add in the dry ingredients, two and a half cups of flour. We're just gonna go all in. I know sometimes I normally do this in like little batches, but we're just gonna go in for it. I'm wondering like, is this mean to be telling the story about this guy on the internet? But also this was the most miserable few hours of my life.
the beginning of the day he just starts complaining about his roommates and his roommates girlfriends and like all of this stuff like he just starts talking and blabbing and going on and on and i'm not getting a single word in like i don't think i said a single word to this man this entire time he starts talking about everything he starts talking about his job his family where he used to vacation at this point in the day we're not even that far into the day i could write a biography on this man i know this man's family tree i know where this man summered vacation of 2016 i know the clothes this man packed in his suitcase for said vacation in summer 2016. This man is talking so much about himself, but not asking a single question about me. The entire time we are on this date, he doesn't ask any questions about me. We are solely talking about him. I will admit, I am somebody who likes to ask a lot of questions. Like I'm just a question person. I always have been like this. I just got flour on me, oops. <laughs> we were like maybe a few hours into this date and he had only talked about himself. He hadn't asked me a single question. Even things that I was like offering up information about myself, like he was talking about like, oh, places he traveled. And I was like, oh cool, like I actually went to like blah, blah, blah place. And he was like, mm-hmm. And so back to my trip, like even the stuff that I was like offering up for him to talk about, to have me talk, he wasn't biting on any of it. Like it just was always back to him. And if you guys remember that really bad first date that I went on that I talked about, in my last baking video a very similar thing happened where like this man wouldn't let me speak He wouldn't ask me any questions like he only talked about himself That is such a red flag to me. This man doesn't know if I have siblings He doesn't know what I do for work He might know that I do YouTube like because he knew my ex-boyfriend and everything like I met him through that But like, he didn't ask about it. We talked about his family never asked about mine We talked about his jobs never asked about mine We talked about his job never asked about mine Like we only talked about him and never about me the entire time I was so miserable when I came to the realization like oh my god like we're not talking about me because we've been talking about him for a while and like I I like to get to know people I like to ask people questions I think it's common courtesy like if you if somebody asks you a question maybe be like oh what about you oh what's your family like oh blah 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 I know so much about this man he knows absolutely nothing about me and so I have this like conversation in my head he's like talking about himself I'm zoning out because I no longer care because he just won't shut up he's also kind of egotistical if we're being honest here like the way that he was like talking about himself I was like wow this man has a lot of confidence and honestly should he have as much confidence mm. he kind of kept making comments about how he has like male pretty privilege in a sense like he kept saying that like he's an above attractive man and like he gets what he wants because he's attractive and like eh, like not to be rude but like he wasn't ugly but like the way that he was like hyping himself up i was like i don't i don't think you're that hot Obviously, I didn't say that. That kind of gave me an ick that he was like so conceited about himself and like with his appearance, with his jaw, like he just thought he was like hot shit. I had this conversation with myself in my head and I was like, okay, I think I'm asking him way too many questions. Maybe the reason he hasn't like asked me a single question is because I just keep asking him questions. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop talking. And I'm just gonna let him fill in that silence, maybe with questions. I wanna see like, if I'm not contributing to the conversation, what will he do? What will he do, you might ask? He starts talking about himself even more, which was my fear. That was something that I was aware could happen. So he starts talking about himself even more. This didn't feel like a mutual, let's get to know each other thing. It felt like it was all about him. Like it seemed like he just wanted an excuse to talk about himself and it was, Horrible. I'm also gonna add in the baking soda and the salt. How much are we gonna do? A teaspoon of each. Oh no, I suppose I need baking soda and baking powder. I only have baking soda. How much baking soda do you substitute for baking powder? I'm like, is it a one to one ratio? Triple the amount of baking powder that you would use for baking soda. Wait, I don't get it. I need it to. Wait, pause. I didn't even notice that there was baking powder in this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna do a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. So we're gonna do one and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. I hope that it doesn't mess it up too much. I don't know. There's gonna be a few things that we're gonna have to substitute in this recipe. We're just gonna hope for the best, right? Wish me luck, you know? And then a pinch of salt, which is like kind of stressful because I'm like, like give me an exact measurement, you know? Oh, I got brand new baking soda. I need to open it. I am really nervous about the baking soda thing, like how this is gonna rise. We will find out together. <laughs> I'm like, how much is a pinch of salt? I don't know if that's a pinch of salt. We're just gonna go for it. Okay. I feel like I like really keep honing in on the fact that this man like will not stop talking about himself. But like, I wish I could explain to you how miserable this is. This is to the point where we have our food. I'm almost done with my meal. He's maybe had two bites because he hasn't been able to stop talking. And he also keeps like bringing up that he talks a lot. And I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, you do. I just oops 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 at a certain point i just gave up on talking i would also like to note that he 
kept flirting with our waitress as well our waitress was very beautiful and he kept like hitting on her she wasn't flirting back and it was very obvious that she was kind of like <laughs> it was really weird i'm also gonna add in the spices so let's look at the spices here i have flour all over my phone it's a four teaspoon of nutmeg a four teaspoon of ground cloves and a tablespoon of cinnamon i don't have any ground cloves but i googled allspice could be a substitute for it like i said we're kind of we're switching on a lot of things today so ah! i'm dropping everything okay we're doing fourth teaspoon allspice this smells like Christmas or fall or I mean this is ah, oh oh my god now we're gonna go in with the nutmeg fourth teaspoon of that and then a whole tablespoon of cinnamon which is a lot I need any more tea my throat is really hurting tea break I'm not sick my throat just hurt anyone remember the cinnamon challenge okay so bad news the camera stopped recording because the SD card filled up I wasn't looking at it so I have no idea what the last thing it recorded was because I was just like blah, blah, blah. I was talking just like the man on the date was you know too much I added all the spices and I was saying that this dough is a very dry dough like it's not sticky at all and I'm kind of regretting adding in the spices a little late like I wish I would have added them at the same time as the flour which I think that's what I was supposed to do, but I kind of just like got distracted. It's just not really incorporating. Like I'm just seeing like chunks of these spices in here and it's not really incorporating throughout the entire dough batter, which is making me ever so slightly concerned, but whatever. It's a very, it's very dry. It's a very dry dough. Like not at all sticky, not at all wet. There's just like chunks of cinnamon and I don't want someone to eat like a huge bite of cinnamon in there. So we are going to form them into dough balls on a lined baking sheet or like a greased up baking sheet. And then we're going to throw them in the oven for 14 minutes and then we're going to make the icing. And then I'll finish telling you the story. <laughs> Next up, we're making icing. I've never made icing before, so I'm kind of worried about this, but we're gonna see how this goes. Oh no, the cream cheese needed to be room temp. It's not gonna be room temp. I am flopping so hard at this, you guys. Whatever, we're gonna figure it out. I have my hand mixer to kind of whip it up. I don't know if this is gonna make a huge difference. I, I'm sure it will. I hope not. So we need four ounces of cream cheese. I could have had it sitting out the entire time. Throwing in four ounces of cream cheese. Wish me luck on this, you guys. At this point in the day, I decide to excuse myself to go to the bathroom. When I'm in the bathroom, I think to myself, do I leave? Do I just get in my car, run away, and go? And I'm like, that's kind of mean. I decide to come up with a game plan to try to get myself out of there. While I'm in the bathroom, it kind of dawns on me, and I was like, oh my god, am I being pranked? Is my ex-boyfriend and this guy pranking me? Like, are they intentionally crafting up this horrible day to have the horrible experience, like, as a prank? Because this is the only thing that I can think of that would justify this guy's actions. I know I keep saying how bad this date was, but I, I really don't think that I've been able to verbalize it to really express to you guys how horrible this was. I'm also throwing in two tablespoons of butter and I'm thinking like, is this a prank? Are they like in cahoots? I can't wrap my mind around someone being this egotistical and full of themselves. And then I thought to myself, probably not. We're going to do a tablespoon of milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract as well. It's still never been confirmed to me whether or not this was a prank, whether or not my ex-boyfriend knew about this. I'm in my mind, I'm assuming no. I don't want to think that poorly of him. I was just grasping for any kind of explanation. So I'm in this bathroom and I'm like, okay, I need an escape plan. I need to get out of this date. I cannot be here. I cannot hang out with him afterwards. I feel like a lot of times on a date, sorry, that would not open. <laughs> if you get dinner with someone, it's almost like, what should we do after this type of thing? And I did not want to do anything after this. What I wanted to do was get the fuck out of there. I'm thinking to myself, how can I get myself out of here? So I come up with a game plan in my head and I go back into the restaurant and I sit down and I very obviously check my phone to see what time it is. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of late. And he was like, what, what should we do after this? I was like, oh, actually I have a friend who I made plans with after, like she's going out of town soon. And like, I promised I would see her before she leaves. She leaves tomorrow. I should probably go, right? That was the best I could think of on the spot. <laughs> I felt brain dead from that whole night. Like my brain was not functioning. That was the best I could think of. Before I tell you his response to this, we're gonna whip this bad boy up. Let's see how it goes. I'm not very great at using a hand mixer either. Wish me luck, everyone. I get why the cream cheese needs to be room temperature. It's kind of chunky. I'm gonna fold down the edges and then mix it again, but it's turning out really well. Scraping down the edges and then we're gonna give her one more mix before we add the powdered sugar. I love a cream cheese frosting too. I really hope this is good. I didn't even try the dough. Normally I eat like 90% of the dough too. I also saw that someone on the comments on Pinterest said to sift in the powdered sugar or else it'll be too chunky, which noted. 
so let's do that. I think it's half a cup, if I'm not mistaken, of powdered sugar. Yeah, half a cup. Thankfully, this guy was like, oh, yeah, get the check, you know, whatever. He paid for it, which I did appreciate. However, I would have paid for every single person's tab in the restaurant. I would have gone in debt to spare me those couple of hours of being with him. I know this sounds really dramatic, but I want you to know that was the longest couple hours of my life. It felt like that was like a 48-hour dinner, and it was maybe two or three hours. I feel like I sound really mean, but I would have rather watched paint dry. I would have rather done a plank for seven hours. I would have rather died than hung out with this. Like this sounds so mean. I'm like, it is mean, but he was just insufferable. I didn't remember him being that full of himself and that annoying when I knew him through my ex-boyfriend, but maybe like I just didn't get to know him that well. Honestly, kind of sketch. Like if one of my friends went out with my ex-boyfriend, I mean, they can have him, but I'd be like, girl code, I don't know. Let's mix this bad boy up one more time. I'm afraid it's gonna push everywhere. So that already went everywhere. <laughs> Trying to cover it so it doesn't go everywhere. Hey Siri, how much time left on the timer? There are no timers set. Oh, Alexa, timer off. It was just about to go off, like within a second. Oh, these are very tall. Wow, okay. They're very puffy. These are the cookies. Like they're very interesting looking. They're very spongy. I don't know if this is like the baking soda. I mean, I try a bite of one. My condom tastes like nothing. Almost like muffiny. It's like very spongy. Interesting. I was gonna try to like offer these out to people, but I don't, I think I might be too embarrassed. Also this cream cheese frosting is a little chunky and I'm not sure if it's because of the cold cream cheese. I'm gonna give it one more good mix. Hopefully get the chunks out. The store is not over yet though. There's more to this. I wanna try it. That's really good. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So we leave and he hugs me goodbye. And when he hugs me goodbye, I like escaped that hug so fast that he couldn't kiss me. Like he didn't even have the opportunity to. And he was like, this was so fun. Like we should definitely do this again. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not good at rejecting people. I'd rather not reject them to their faces either. So I was like, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, bye. I go home. On my drive home, I drive in silence. I felt like I needed to like punish myself. Like, do you know when you're driving with no music on? I did that. I'm so angry and I just felt like it fit the vibe. Come home in silence. Next day, I go to brunch with my friends and I'm recapping this story and their jaws are dropping. Especially the point where he talks about how he gets what he wants because he's pretty or whatever because he thinks he's hot. Their jaws were on the floor, on the freaking floor. He texts me. I had such a great time. Like you were such a fun girl. Like it was so great getting to know you. I'd love to do this again. Like, can we hang out? again what about me did this man like what about me did he enjoy getting to know what about me did he feel like we vibed the entire date was just him talking about himself it was just an hour of like him boasting about him i can't can't stop eating this oh my god it was so fun getting to know you what about me does he know the only information like i said that he found out about me is the stuff that i like gave up because i was like trying to insert myself into the conversation between him and himself this cream cheese frosting is really good this is really good i can't stop eating this oh my gosh i will admit i ghost him i didn't respond to his text i'm sorry i have to be honest i am pro ghost after like a first date because like what am i gonna do send him a text but like, i actually despised every second we were together and maybe would have said something nicer part of me like wants to give him like a bad yelp review you know i wish there was like a website where you could like rate your date but then like, i wouldn't want someone to do that about me i don't want people rating me yeah i didn't respond after one date you don't owe it to anyone after multiple dates i do think you owe it to people there was nothing nice i could have said to him i Hope I never see him again. And I'm very interested to see if he told my ex-boyfriend about it. I'm gonna frost one of these. I don't know if they're still too warm to frost because they just came out of the oven, but they're not warm, which I think is really interesting. So I'm just gonna frost one and see if it like melts too much. And if it's fine, then I'll frost the rest. If it's not, then I'll wait for them to cool off. I think they're fine to frost, right? I'm gonna try it with the frosting. The frosting makes the cookie. Mm -hmm. If these cookies had no frosting on them, they'd be disgusting. They're just not flavorful. The frosting is the star of the show. The cookie, I wouldn't make again. The frosting, I would definitely make again. That's my consensus. One thing that I like about this recipe is it makes a lot of cream cheese frosting, so there's plenty to go around. I didn't have to like skimp out on it. <laughs> they look like little cinnamon rolls. I saw that they also like sprinkled cinnamon on top of it. I'm afraid to do that because I don't want to do like too much cinnamon, so I think that I'm gonna put a bunch of cinnamon on a plate and I can't, oh, I caught some on my finger. That's not my finger. I'm gonna like sprinkle it on with my hand. That's not really like coming out great. Oh, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it is. 
we're working with it anyways i hope you guys like this video it kind of was all over the place if you want to watch my very worst date story i've ever been where i thought i was gonna get kidnapped and like human trafficked i will link that baking video down below for you because if you thought this one was good i don't even know if this was a good dating story that story this is cute okay i'm happy with this look at them they're so cute i kind of love them should we do a taste test with one of these with the cinnamon i don't know which one i want to do cheers <laughs> i still don't think i'd make them again they're good they're just like spongy you know they're not chewy without the cream cheese i give them a two just a solid cookie with the cream cheese i give them a 5.5 i also didn't like follow the recipe exactly the way i should so that could be why it could be user error it probably is user error but i love you guys so much thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye Mwah.